All right, so I'm in the process of changing out the sprocket from the 17 tooth that was on there. I thought it was 22 for some reason, but it's 17. Um, got the belt off. It's kind of difficult. The jack screw that's right there in the center of the screen. That's what drives the motor back and forth to tighten and loosen the belt. That works really well. So pull this guy off and then take a look at this size difference between the two. Just massive going to a 26 tooth and that should get me to 30 miles an hour. Don't roll away. So yeah, that's the two size differences between them. Yeah, pretty, pretty significant. So I gotta unfortunately pull the tire off because it doesn't fit. That's hilarious. So I gotta pull. The wheel is off. There's the hub. And I can pull off that gear and stick on this gear. Wrong way. There we go. So you can see. Pretty big difference. So this will get me from 19 miles an hour to about 30 miles an hour. And this was a, a 17 tooth gear on top, 26 tooth gear on the bottom. So yeah, significantly more teeth. And what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta take the motor off and I need to pull all of these bolt holes down by a half inch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the whole thing 45 degrees, offset the holes uh, half an inch, and then I'll be able to put the new belt on. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm going to hook up my charge cable. I got this guy right here. Uh, and I chose this charge cable just because it's a funny charge cable uh, so that nobody actually plugs into this one. It's a, I think it's a 20 amp outlet, but you can see it's got, you know, the cross and the one going the wrong way, the blade going the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up to here and here, and across these two is the full 58 volts. So I don't need to go from here all the way down to there and have, you know, a long section of stripped wire. I have both the positive and negative next to each other so when I hook up to that I get uh, the full voltage of the battery because one battery is going from 0 volts to 50 volts that way and then the other battery is going from 0 volts to 58 volts coming across here you know jumping across there going up to there so that wire right there is the same as that wire over there and I could have done the same thing just by coming over to the speed controller and hooking directly up to the speed controller but I didn't really want to do that so I'm going to hook up the wires to here. So now I've got the two wires hooked up there. And we can check the voltage on this guy. So got the plugs in, 52.8 volts.